Today is an exciting day for numerous reasons. Number one, in the sky is the sunshine. Number two, sunshine in Scotland. Number three, I'm at a place called Thorny Lee, which is one of the lesser known places in the Tweed Valley. I've ridden here once, and it was actually one of the first times I stayed in a camper van. And that night, the coldest night, like minus, I think it was minus nine, the heater failed. Uh, it was actually due to snow getting in the exhaust of it. But the heater failed, minus nine, in this car park, it was freezing. But the trails were amazing. And ever since then, I've been wanting to come back. So I'm back here in the sunshine. And then finally, the main thing, I'm gonna be riding my e-bike. Got a Specialized Levo 2017 uh, Expert. This is sat at home when I've been away traveling in Spain because there just wasn't enough room in the van for it. And the whole time I've been away, I've just been like, I wish I had my e-bike here on certain occasions. Um, so yeah, I've been kind of maybe thinking about it with rose tinted glasses, if that's even a thing, thinking through rose tinted glasses. Anyway, I've been, <laughs> I've been thinking this thing's really amazing and I'm going to ride it today and find out if it is as nice as I remember or if I've just been kind of buttering it up in my imagination. Hopefully it is just as good. I know the climbs are going to be good, so let's go up the hill. And the best thing about Thorny Lee is even on a normal bike, the climb is really quite quick to do. The gradient's nice and it feels like you get a lot more, uh, the descent is a lot longer than you'd expect. So everything is the right way around. Awesome. That climb is doable normally, but much easier on this thing. So the climb was definitely easier, as you would expect. Um, it's not actually quite as easy as I remember, and I actually stuck it into 75%. On the Levo, you can change all the percentages. So I'm running 25% for Eco, 50% for Trail, and 75% for Boost. And also I've dialed down the the aggressiveness of how, how aggressive the engine comes in, to just try and make it as natural as possible. So the climb was a little bit harder than I thought. So now this trail starts off reasonable, but it does get pretty steep towards the end. It gets pretty bumpy in the open. Well, the suspension definitely works well. A little bit extra weight into that corner. I suppose this isn't a fair comparison because I've never ridden an e-bike here and I've only ridden here and, uh, once, especially this trail. The back end is tracking really well. There's some loose rocks in there. Whew. That was all right. I'm having to adopt a different style, slightly more chilled out on uh, not throwing the bike about as much, letting it take care of a bit more than I normally would. But equally, it's because it can take a bit care of a bit more. The back end was tracking so well. That extra weight in the middle definitely helps. Right. Now things get steeper. Eight, ten bars, try to squeeze through the trees. Oh, and there's a few of them. It's like a signature of the Tweed Valley is close together trees. Oh, oh my. Oh, I hope that looks safe in the camera because my god. 
not stopping anytime soon. There we go. Trail finished. View the mountain bike, the e bike is, seat up, and away we go. Uh oh. Yep, the railer is not wanting to go into a higher gear. So the mech has swung round that way. Yeah. Oh, my B tension screw snapped. Oh. Man. That sucks. Okay, round two. New B tension screw inserted. Well, I say new. I stole it from Alex's bike. I'll need to get another one now. Uh, but we are now good to go. So just like that, I'm back up to the top. Notice how I'm not out of breath at all. Now I can just bang down some gears and hit the trails. No stopping to recover. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> no stopping to recover, just straight in. Pretty fast. It's an awkward one. Oh, it's even more awkward. I'm just gonna tone it back a wee bit. So I've cut out. This is definitely lethal in the wet. So I'm glad I'm hitting it in the dry. Oh. I'll be grabbing a break here. That is so nice. Yeah, I feel the front end's kind of letting us down a wee bit. It's maybe too fast in the rebound still. I'm not sure. Now I think I've got a split in the trail coming up. Oh, oh no. This is actually a split coming into it. <laughs> yep, as I said, as you get steep towards it in. All right. I'm gonna take the left this time. I can't remember which one's the best, or if there is a best. There we go. Yes, we're almost there. We're almost home and dry. <laughs> so for me, this is where the e-bike shines over a conventional bike. Now, I've only done two runs, but usually when I'm by myself, I will just not do as much, unless it's a big loop. If it's like a thought to do another run of something, I usually kind of bail out early because I get lonely <laughs> and the thought of suffering on my own on the claims is quite a thought. However, with the e-bike, I'm heading up again and it's it's not even a problem to go up the hill. Right, we're getting a little bit faster. <laughs> Using that extra weight from momentum here. No, I don't want it. <laughs> Turn it to me. <laughs> oh, there's a punchy weak climb coming up. Thankfully, 
I've got the e-bike this time. So I can do it. Oh Jesus, that's close. Brake control is really important in this one. Braking as hard as you can, just on the edge of brake attraction. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Oh, so tight. Didn't quite get it. Close enough though. Chain still on. Nice one. Whew. Well, that'll do me. Pretty happy with that. So it was awesome. It was uh, every bit as good as I remembered. The first climb, I suppose maybe I was just expecting more power. I do have it toned down, of course I could have went all out and just went 100% power, but that's never really what I've been doing on it anyway. Uh, so the first attempt didn't really feel that powerful. But actually over the course of three climbs, sorry the first ascent, uh, over the course of three climbs it actually became apparent why I got an e-bike. Is it just it just doesn't stress you out, you know, and you can just keep going all day long. So over the course of a day, you're definitely going to be much better off. You're going to be less fatigued the next day and more chance of going out and enjoying your bike more often. Uh, the descent, however, is not quite as good as a conventional bike for the really steep technical stuff, just purely because of the weight. Just it's a little bit harder to, to work the bike, really. But... Uh, for most trails, certainly for trail centres and things that aren't all that steep or technical, I think it's actually better. I think the suspension actually performs better because of the sprung mass to unsprung mass ratio. So the, the back wheel is lighter in comparison to the bike. So it's just got that really planted feel and the suspension really, really does work. So it's just different, but, uh, but it puts a smile on my face. So that is the main thing. So thanks for watching, sorry it was an e-bike video, and also I'm glad it was an e-bike video. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one guys, cheers.